All of us people have hobbies to have fun and invest some time into doing these hobbies. For some people, they want to explore a new world because of the adventurous side of humans that just want to explore and discover new lands. And luckily for us, the metaverse is created in order to give us this opportunity. In quite a literal sense, the metaverse takes us to a whole new world. But what are the worlds available for us to explore? Here are some of the best metaverse projects for you to explore. But of course, before we head on to that, welcome to another video from Crypto Cash Out, the channel that will go through worlds just to bring you information and circulating about the crypto world. Always remember that you should not take what we say or show in this video as financial advice. We are not financial advisors or financial experts. We make these videos to share information about the crypto world. We can advise you on how to do additional research after watching this video. Trust us, it's for the best. Now, the metaverse is a concept that has been around for quite a while, but despite that, people seem to have a couple of questions regarding it. But when you look up the meaning of metaverse online, you will usually conclude with a meaning somewhere along the lines of a virtual reality space that gives the users, which is me and you, the opportunity to interact. Everything in the metaverse is digital and computer generated. The place is generated by a computer and you can interact with people from across the globe in this virtual space. And there are video game developers out there that want to integrate the idea of the metaverse in their games. It's not just the big companies like Facebook and Microsoft that want to explore the metaverse, but video game companies as well. And because of the influence of the blockchain games, there are metaverse games out there that give you the opportunity to earn a little bit of extra cash when you dedicate your time and effort into them. But what are the best metaverse projects out there and what are those worth playing? Here at Crypto Cash Out, we will talk about the best metaverse projects you can play right now. The first game that you should take note of is The Sandbox. The Sandbox is currently one of the biggest metaverse games available right now because of how you can explore the digital world and interact with other players in the game. The lands you buy in the game are owned by you and you can develop them in whatever you like, however you like. And because you own them, you can head on to Vox Edit, an editing tool available in Sandbox, to monetize your lands and earn profit from your lands. This monetization can be anywhere from games or art galleries that can earn you money. The Sandbox is based on the Ethereum ecosystem. This means that if Ethereum has some bullish runs, Sandbox will be directly affected and will also have one of their own. They have their own token which is called Sand, and each token is currently valued at $1.97 at the time of writing. And even though the game just got released in the middle of the Facebook rebrand to Meta Hype, the Metaverse project seemed to still attract attention and have performed well so far. It has performed well enough to become one of the best Metaverse projects in the crypto world today. The way that you can earn in this game is with the lands you own. As previously mentioned, you can buy lands and design them in a way that will be monetized. For example, you can create a museum in the game where people pay an entry fee in order to see beautiful paintings in the game. These paintings can be NFTs and sold in your game which can go for quite a while. There are of course other ways you can earn in the game. The most common is by buying and selling lands, especially lands that are high in demand such as those near celebrities such as Snoop Dogg. Sandbox has become so popular that at one time, it had around 7% of the market share in the metaverse. Speaking of games that are gaining much attention, we have Illuvium. Now, we would like to clear things up and say that the game is still in beta. But for a game that has been hyped up for such a long time now, being in beta is huge especially to those who have been wanting to play the game since it has been announced. Illubium is an open world adventure game where you, the player, shall take on the role of ranger and explore the world around you. While exploring the world, you are to collect and catch some strong creatures known as Illuvials. These Illuvials are NFTs, which means that you can sell them in the in-game marketplace if you don't want to use them in your team. There are Illuvials that will be more valuable because of their rarity and class affinity combination. The stronger and rarer the Illuvial you catch, the more expensive it will be, especially to some people. The catching mechanics in the metaverse project is quite similar to Pokemon where you have to weaken them first and catch them using shards that are given to you. 
but the real competitive gameplay is what hardcore gamers look forward to in the game. They have the arena mode which is PvP and you can battle with players from all around the globe. The mechanics of the arena mode can be compared to auto battlers such as TFT or auto chess. So if you're interested in this game, go check out Illuvium. Speaking of exploring worlds, we have a game that lets you explore different worlds. Alien Worlds is a game where you can explore different planets, seven to be exact. In this metaverse, you can do missions from the seven planets to earn rewards from your efforts. Like the other projects mentioned before now, this game is all about acquiring NFTs and using them wisely. NFTs will be the main selling point in the game and you can sell them to earn extra profit. There is also a government system using the in-game token. The token is called Trillium and you can use it to cast votes during the planetary elections. What is being voted on can range from increasing the price pool of the planets or other proposals on how the universe will be in the future. There is also a planetary council in which the players have to vote for. And in true democratic fashion, you can also run for a position in this council. To end the discussion of Alien Worlds, the in-game token Trillium or TLM is priced at $0.0681 at the time of writing. Now let us take a step back and chill a bit on our farm. What farm? Farmer's World is a farming game that is quite similar to Farmville's in the late 2000s to early 2010s era. This game allows players to take care of their farms by managing their crops, animals, and land in order to develop their farm to become one of the best in the metaverse. There's also a PvP game mode in the game where the contest is by visiting other players' land and competing for in-game resources. In order to increase your chances of winning, you can purchase equipment that can help you win the competition. You can earn in the game with the plants and animals you grow together with your land when you sell them in the marketplace. There's another game that you should take note of and it is Farming Tales. A lot similar to Farmer's World but different enough to keep them both distinct from one another. In this game, the more time and effort you put into your farm, the more you can also earn a real life equivalent. Nothing comes for free in this game. Even the things you do to earn, you must work hard for them. After which, you can sell the items you produce in order to earn SEST tokens, the in-game currency of Farming Tales. Staying with the topic of plants, we have Plants vs Undead. Name sound familiar? Well, it is a game based on a popular game, Plants vs Zombies, that took the world by storm several years ago. But the gameplay is much different as there is only one line where the undead can go and you can place your plants in a platform. It has the same tower defense game mechanic where you must strategically put your plants to protect the mother tree from the threats. You can compete with other players or complete tasks in order to receive rewards in the game. In order to have the best defenses in your arsenal ready, you can buy seeds that will increase your chances of defending the murder tree. In the same way, you can also sell seeds which is one of the ways you can earn in the game. If you're a sports fan, then we also have the game for you, presenting So Rare, which is a football card collecting game that has gained much attention from the masses because of how easy it is to create an account in the game and begin playing it. And when I say card collection, it is more similar to the current Pokemon TGC collection where people are paying more money to be in possession of rarer cards. This same mechanic will be the same thing in the game where rarer cards will be more valuable for some people and are willing to pay for them when someone gets them. And the cards are no joke as well. Over 180 football clubs have registered in Serer, so you will be looking at collecting cards with real players on them. The gameplay is basic. As a player, you must collect at least 5 cards that you will send out to battle other players in a soccer match. If you defeat your opponent in the match or they forfeit the match, you are rewarded with ether tokens. Not only that, but your team will also grow stronger as a result of the victory. Because of the upgrade, you can win more games and win more rewards. If the card game that you want to play is similar to that of Hearthstone, then Splinterlands is the game perfect for you. It is a card game that is based on the Hive blockchain and it is one of the more popular NFT blockchain games. This game rewards you with amazing prizes especially if you win the games. In order to participate, you must first buy a set of cards through Steam and log in. After that, you can start playing the game. It is a game that requires you to plan ahead with your deck in order to counter each attack the opponent will throw at you. And because you want the best cards possible, you can upgrade your existing cards by combining each to make them stronger and gain more power. As a result of this combination, your chances of winning are increased. You can also sell the duplicates if you want for extra money. Speaking of extra money, you can also sell the cards that you don't need to earn quite a bit 
2. Shooting games play an important role in our entertainment today, and if you are a fan of that, then you must like Meta Strike. Meta Strike is a role-playing shooter game where you can equip and choose from an array of weapons to complete missions. Completing missions gives you tokens and NFTs, which is a straightforward way of earning in the game. You can get any clearer than that. In the metaverse of Meta Strike, you can purchase lands which can be used for whatever you like. You can customize maps and put them in different regions in the world map. Other people can use your map and you can even give them toys that they can use. Staying with the topics of lands, My Neighbor Alice is a multiplayer building game. The game has become so popular that it has introduced a lot of people to blockchain games. Anyway, you can buy, own, and even sell virtual lands in the game. You can develop these lands so that other people can visit. Like the other mentioned metaverse projects, NFTs will play an important role in this metaverse as you can equip them or sell them in the marketplace. For a comparison of the game, we can compare it to the lives of Animal Crossing franchise where you buy islands and design them however you like. You can also meet, visit, and play with other players in the metaverse. The rewards of the game are in the form of Alice tokens which is currently valued at $4.56 each token. You can earn them by completing missions in the game. And if you want a metaverse in the palm of your hands, then Star Crazy is a metaverse game that you can play with your phone in iOS or Android. In this metaverse, you can collect their in-game token called GFS token by collecting and selling the star's NFT in the game. And last but definitely not the least, we have Axie Infinity. I feel like it would be a sin not to talk about Axie Infinity, considered as one of the best blockchain games of 2021, racking up millions in the year alone. The basic gameplay is similar to the turn-based battle style of Pokemon. Phew, a lot of Pokemon inspired games today. The world of Axie Infinity is revolving around the monsters you obtain, creatures known as Axies. As the player, you can collect Axies as virtual pets and if you want to take them to battle, you must breed, collect, and raise them to their strongest form. You need to have at least three of these Axies to formally play the game and participate in battles. Winning battles will earn you rewards in the form of SLPs. In addition to the axes, you can breed them to create more, but you have to remember that breeding costs quite a bit for SLPs and it increases exponentially over time so be careful with your breeding and make sure that you breed with your best body parts. You can sell the axes if you don't have a use for them anymore in your team. Axes can sell hundreds or even thousands in the marketplace if they are of the right body composition. And that is basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed that, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below to help us grow. Subscribing to the channel is also appreciated so please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel. It's free and takes a few clicks to finish. Comment down below what virtual world you want to explore for a chance at a shout out in the next video. Speaking of videos, we have one on spider tanks, another blockchain game so if you're interested, go check that out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and have fun cashing out!